Welcome back, everyone. 200,000 Californians live near the coastline. Some of that prime real estate is on track to go from waterfront to underwater. But for the first time, we may now know just how soon that could happen. KCAL News meteorologist Marina Jurica shows us how. Three, two, one, engine ignition and the liftoff. Liftoff of SWAT. This is SWAT. The surface water and ocean topography satellite launched last year will give us an unprecedented view of not only how much the sea level is rising, but how fast it is happening. So SWAT's just going to give us information where we didn't have it before. Ben Hamlington is a research scientist for NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, who has been studying sea level rise for decades. Until SWAT, this was the best image we could get, a blurry image showing us nothing more than the ocean. Now, a transformational leap forward with images telling the story of our planet's changing oceans with clarity and detail. It's like putting glasses on, being able to see uh, the picture that was uh, previously kind of blurry, but now we're seeing that really fine detail. The spacecraft will scan over 90% of the planet every 21 days, giving us a high resolution view of our coastlines. So with SWAT, we had very high expectations for what it might provide, and I think in a lot of cases is exceeding those expectations. The initial imaging from SWAT is astounding. The details in these smaller ocean features are telling us how rapidly the coastline is changing in ways that satellites could not do before. So we're going to see a significant increase in the amount of flooding just in the next two to three decades. So it's not a really distant problem. We're seeing impacts now and we're expecting to see a very rapid increase in the impacts just in the next 20 to 30 years. That's where SWAT comes in. It's going to provide the data people need to plan for the future. So there's a wide range of adaptation strategies that you can implement. You can certainly put rocks, coastal defenses like this. Sea walls are a possible solution. We are forecasting for a stronger El Nino year, and that in combination with king tides could cause some issues when it comes to coastal flooding. SWAT forecasting is going to be very important. It's going to allow us to have a better picture of coastal erosion as well as infrastructure issues and the potential for landslides. Current projections suggest we'll see as much sea level rise in the next 30 years that we've seen in the past 100 years, and the rise will keep coming faster. It's like putting your foot on the accelerator in a car. You're putting your foot on the gas, and that's really what we're doing with sea level rise around, along the coastlines. So we're going to see all those impacts that we see now start to increase in frequency and severity, the flooding, the erosion. When you think about the sea level change and the sea level rise that's happening, it is not a future generation issue. It is something that is affecting us the way we live now. We won't be able to stop sea level rise, but it's possible we could slow it down. It'll take all of us limiting carbon emissions, a cause of sea level rise, to lessen projections for the future so we can adapt. Here on Orange County's Balboa Island, the city has raised the seawall by nine inches to help with flooding. Now, what's great about SWAT forecasting is it's going to be able to help us better prepare for flood events. And it's also going to give us a better understanding of the timeline that we are under so we can make the changes that are necessary. Let's make a plan together. For KCAL News, I'm Marina Jurica.